My name is Tanya Nelson, and I am London Area Director at Arts Council in London. And I'm delighted to be here with colleagues from the Ohara Museum um, in Kurashiki City in Japan. Um, welcome. Um, could I have you introduce yourselves and just talk briefly about the Ohara Museum? Okay, nice to meet you. I'm uh, Akane Ohara, uh, Chair of uh, Ohara Museum of Art. And uh, today I would like to uh, introduce the participant, participant members, uh, Mr. Miura. Uh, he will uh, appointed as uh, the director of the museum in July. And then uh, Chikako Takaoka, the chief curator who specializes in Picasso. And uh, I'm very honored to have this opportunity. Uh, the Ohara Museum of Art was founded in 1930 by uh, Mago Saburo Ohara, an uh, industrialist in Kurashiki, our city. Uh, the collection began with modern Western art, ancient West Asia and uh, Egyptian art, and the works of a painter named Torashiro Kojima, uh, but uh, has uh, but has now expanded to include modern and contemporary Japanese art, works by artists of the folk art movement, and ancient East Asia art, and so on. I think we can be called a comprehensive museum with a substantial collection. Uh, one of the features of the museum is that it was not a founder, but his close friend, painter Torajiro Kojima, who selected the artworks for the museum. At that time in Japan, not only the general public, but also students at the University of Arts had few appointments, uh, I'm sorry, a few opportunities to see their Western paintings. In such an environment, Torajiro Kojima received a scholarship from Magosaburo and went to Europe to study painting. In Paris and other European cities, he witnessed real European paintings. He then asked Magosaburo to purchase the paintings, hoping that Japanese people would have the same experience as he had. It is not difficult to imagine how shocking and happy Torajiro must have been to encounter real European paintings. He felt very lucky and wanted to share the same experience with the Japanese people, especially with young art students studying in Japan. This was the beginning of our museum, so we still believe in the power of the real thing and also consider it our mission to bring art to people from all walks of life. In addition, Soichiro Ohara, our second president, expanded the scope of our collection and purchased artworks for the world to see. Uh, so we are still continuing to expand our collection. And now we are engaged in collecting conserv conservation, communication, research and exhibition, but also in daily activities to make Kurashiki, a regional city in Japan, more well-being in cooperating with local people. Thank you. Thank you for that. That's fantastic. Um, so this year your museum won an award from the Japanese Association of Museums. Could you tell me more about um, what makes your museum special or what are the particular qualities that led to it winning this award? Ohara Museum of Art was born in 1930 after the death of Torajiro Koshima, who laid the foundation of the collection as a place to exhibit his works and the art he collected. It was designed by an architect who had studied with him in Europe. After the Second World War, the exhibition facilities were expanded by Sochiro Ohara, and each facility was designed and built by the architect who was working with the president at the time on community development and by the designer 
who was promoting the Minge movement, the folk craft movement in Japan with him. In other words, I believe that our history has always been with our con contemporaries. I also believe that at the time of our founding, the founder and his comrades had a belief that the creation of a museum was for the benefit of a society and even more so for the benefit of a future society. Thus, the purpose of a museum is one, to continue to work with the artists of our time, and second, to conduct our daily activities with the idea of contributing to the society of the future. And um, I think it is the fact that the Ohara Museum of Art is open to people from various fields and that the museum's main source of income is from admission fees. For example, although it has only recently become popular in Japan, we have been accepting preschool children for more than 30 years. We have also been opening our days off to uh, our days off to local elementary school for more than 10 years. When Classic City hosted this G7 regional meeting, we also served as a reception venue, and so on. Other reasons are that we are promoting various collaborating activities, such as cooperation with the music field, the sports field, science field, and so on. I also believe that one of our unique features is that our main source of income is from admission fees, and we do not rely on a limited number of companies or individ individuals to manage our museum. Thank you. That right? That's fantastic. I mean, given, you. What, given what you said in terms of um, having that appeal such that you generate income from your general community. So the visitors pay to come in. And then also, I think what's really interesting of how you're trying to um, collaborate with different art forms you talked about and different disciplines, which I think is really interesting. But could you talk a little bit about, you know, what are the challenges you face given um, what you're trying to achieve? What are the challenges you face? And I, I guess, what are the opportunities you see in the future um, in terms of the way that you've developed your museum and what opportunities it presents? Um, the challenge is to improve the financial situation. Since admission fee income was the main source of income, the COVID disaster caused a drop in the number of visitors, making the business situation more difficult. Uh, overcoming this is an important issue. On the other hand, thanks to the many companies and people who sympathize with our activities in the wake of the COVID disaster, we have seen an increase in corporate sponsors and individual members. Our slogan is my museum for everyone. We see it as an opportunity to support us and to create more momentum for people to consider the Ohara Museum of Art my museum. Also, for many years, the Ohara Muse Museum of Art has worked together with the local community and the habit of thinking about how the Ohara Museum of Art can be used to solve local problems has taken root among the people of this community. As the significance of art museums around the world continue to expand, I feel that we are in a very fortunate environment. Thank you. That, I love that, what you said at the end about how the museum is being used to solve local problems. Um, because I, I think in a way this leads to my next question, which is about how do you serve different audiences? Because you said the purpose of the museum is to serve the entire community and all audiences. So um, how do you do that? And, and I say that from the perspective of um, in the UK where I live, um, museums are seeing that the older audiences want something slightly different than the younger audiences. So could you just talk a little bit about how you serve different audiences? 
Uh, basically, we believe that the service we provide are the same. However, we are careful to make the way we provide them convenient or comfortable for each of the people we serve. However, our facility is old and not value-free, but our staff puts their heart and soul into it. As for accommodating people of different ages, with the following answers your question. For the preschoolers, we offer them the opportunity to chat, play picture hunting games, and draw in front of the pictures. We value the opportunity for them to relax and spend time with their peers in front of paintings and to express their feelings freely. When they reach high school age, we also encourage them to think about themselves as they consider the background of the artwork and the artist's intentions. Uh, artist intentions. Also, since some of our artwork, artworks are ancient, we sometimes use them to study history or to do scientific studies. We also hold music concert in the exhibition hall. This is a rare opportunity for the musicians to perform, but it is also a special experience for the, for the audience. Some professional performers have been uh, come after hearing music here. We believe it is important to create various ways of engaging with art without being bound by the past or conventional wisdom. That's, that's really fantastic how you're pushing the boundaries um, of, of what people think of in terms of a traditional museum and art historical practice to engage different types of audiences. Um, I was wondering if you could just, I just want to shift gears a little bit to talk about the collection itself. Um, you said in the beginning that the collection oriented in the beginning was oriented towards Western European art, um, but then subsequently the collection has expanded to include um, artworks from Japan or Asia. Um, so could you just say a little bit about how you interpret those different collections together or what are, what's the connection between those parts of the collection? In the galleries of our museum, high quality of modern and contemporary Western art and modern and contemporary Japanese painting are exhibited independently, separately, but in an interconnected way. The permanent collection shows the close relationship and the mutual influence between Western and Japanese painting. As demonstrated by the Ohara Museum of Art in the 20th century, Many Western paintings were brought to Japan, and an increasing number of painters, such as Tarajiro Kojima, went to Europe to study Western painting. A museum strives to exhibit Western and Japanese art, as well as Asian art, in a way that makes the most of the diversity of art from around the world. Hello. In this sense, there is a symbolical work of art. The first painting you will see as the beginning of the permanent exhibition when you enter the museum is Tragiro Kojima's Belgian Girl in Kimono. This was painted by Tragiro Kojima when he studied in Europe and shows a European girl wearing traditional Japanese clothing kimono. And behind her are Chinese tableware, Japanese doors, and European ceramics. I believe this painting represents a view over the world very well. So we respect all works of art, Western, Japanese, Asian, and otherwise, of all the periods and of all the regions, and we also respect the people who created them. We are grateful to have treasures of humanity in a museum, where they can be best be passed on to future generations. Thank you. Thank you. That's really wonderful. And I just want to end by saying congratulations on winning your award. And it was great to speak to you. Thank you. Thank you.